Welcome to the WorkFit SR installation video by Ergotron. Start by unpacking all the parts from the WorkFit SR. Remove the screws from the plastic container and align the work surface with the sliding mount. Use the included Allen wrench to screw the work surface to the mount. Make sure all screws are tight on the work surface. Next, remove the bracket from the packaging and loosen the screws using the Allen wrench. Remove the clasp from the bracket. Measure your desk or table. Take out another set of screws, then using the measurements provided on the base of the WorkFit SR, attach the bracket. Next, with the help of another person, lift the WorkFit SR and place it at the back side of the desk or table. Using the provided cardboard boxes to stabilize the work surface, pull the WorkFit SR until the bracket touches the back of the table or desk. Loosen the hand crank on the clasp and set the clasp back on the bracket. Tighten the screws to attach the clasp to the bracket then use the hand crank to tighten the bracket to the table remove the support boxes next we will attach the crossbar mount unpack another set of four screws and align the crossbar at the desired height. Attach the crossbar using the provided screws and Allen wrench. Remove the cable routing clips and slide them into the T-shaped slot. Next, use the thumb screws to attach the visa plate to your monitor. Then, use the thumb screw with a slot and tighten it on the crossbar support mount. Plug in any power or display cables to your monitor. Lift the monitor and slide it onto the crossbar. Tighten the thumb screws when your monitor is in position. If you have a second monitor, attach the visa plate to the back of your second monitor. Again, plug in any power and display cables to your second monitor. Slide the second monitor onto the crossbar and tighten the thumb screw.
Remove the end caps and screws from the packaging. Slip the first end cap onto the crossbar using the small Allen wrench to attach the screw to the first end cap. Weave the monitor cables through the hooks on each side. When using a wired keyboard and mouse, set them on the work surface and slip the USB cables through the hole in the back of the mount. If the sliding monitor mount returns to a lower position after lifting, you will need to adjust the tension on the WorkFit SR. Under the work surface, use the Allen wrench to tighten the center screw until the sliding mount stays in position after adjustment. If your monitors do not stay in place after tilting, you will need to adjust the tension. Use a socket wrench to tighten the nut on the left side of each monitor until the tilt adjustment stays in place. Remove the circular end cap from the bag. And place them over the nut on the left side of each monitor mount. If the workstation returns to the bottom after lifting, you will need to adjust the tension on the workstation. Use a socket wrench to tighten the nut at the top of the workstation until the workstation stays in place after lifting. Make sure that monitor cables have slack if you're using the built-in cable management. The workstation should be able to rise to its maximum height and lower to its minimum height without the cables catching on the built-in cable management. You can then zip tie the cables in place so you don't have to adjust the slack each time. Slip the cable sleeve around each set of wires for a cleaner look.
attach the plastic covering on the sides of the workstation to hide the cables add the plastic coverings at the base and top of the workstation. Thank you for watching the WorkFit SR installation video by Ergotron.